I'm going to redirect him, we call it, distract him. So she asked, she said, you don't say, you, she goes, so you don't say no to your little puppies, right, to your puppies early in training. So she said, I have a nine and a half week old puppy. You go to take it out to go to the bathroom. It comes flying out across, the, you're walking across the parking lot and it comes flying up and latches onto the back of your leg and bites you vigorously, right? So if I'm raising that dog as a pet dog for the average person, then I might go to, if they persist in, I might go to stopping them with a correction sooner. But pretty typically, I redirect that. Then I go prepared, right? So one of the things with puppies is I always have rewards on me. I always have food. I have toys stuck in my back pocket. And so I recognize, hey, you're coming out now. You're going to be all fired up. A lot of times I preemptively manage it. I stick something in your mouth while we walk out to go to the bathroom. Like, here, carry this. And I stick something in their mouth and let them carry it along while they go pee. Or I have food or something, and as soon as they bite me, I stop and I go po poke them, and then I redirect them into doing something else, and I'll use food to manipulate them. And a lot of most puppies, if when they go to bite, when they're pre-teething puppies under four months old, if you redirect them into other stuff, that just goes away. The vast majority of puppies start out biting you, and it gets less, 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 and they start to look for objects and things like that. Now I'm teaching them alternative behaviors to look at me, to do other stuff, and they just go into that. There are puppies that are super persistent and really intense about this, and there will be dogs that I eventually correct for that. Like, I'm like, okay, enough's enough, and I go, nope, pinch them, like, get off me, and I'll do that to them. But people go there, and it also depends on what you want to do. So one of the things about biting in puppies is it's play, right? And so if I'm, if I put my puppy in a situation and it goes to bite me and I go, don't do that, don't do that, do I goes to grab my shoe, don't do that, goes to grab the electrical cord, don't do that. Like, don't, 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 don't. And then I'm like, hey, play. Your dog's like, no. And I get in trouble every time I put my mouth on something. And I'm like, chase that ball, bite this tug. They're like, no, I'm not doing that. So typically I'm wanting to take that energy and show them where to put it. So I avoid correcting them. But I've bred Malinois for 25 years and there are Malinois that will bite the living hell out of you and they like it. And so, that like they're flying across the yard, full bite on your leg, blood squirting everywhere, and you're like, all right, enough, buddy. Stop doing that, right? But I always try redirection for a period of time before I get to that. And for the va vast majority of even working dog puppies, they just stop biting you and they start looking for other opportunities when they go.